Let's talk about uh, Michael Pahone, shall we? The big P-man. Slicing and dicing. Temporal concoctions. Assimilation. Creation. So, uh, go over to Michael Pahone's house. Once again, you never know what to expect. I don't know if I was walking into, uh, you know, if I was meeting a cat that was just some crazy, serious, deadly serious individual riding or dying for his art. Like, don't talk shit about my art, man. It's not a joke. Oh, you think it's a joke? I'd have to stab you in the neck with my X-Acto knife. But he wasn't like that. He told us about his father. It's a very heart-wrenching heart story. It's always, it's always hard hearing about things like this, you know. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. When people start telling me about, yeah, my pops passed away. I'm always thinking about my father who died. Little 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 tears start to form in the back of my eyeballs. But I gotta I gotta keep those things from flowing. You know what I'm saying? I gotta stay professional during the interview. But shout out to Michael Pahone. You know what I'm saying? Make a motherfucker wanna cry sometimes. That being said, I was extremely engaging being in Michael Pahone's studio. Has all the little boxes with the little of these things and these things and these little bits here. He lost his father in 2003, so he has this whole he has this whole uh, Colombian lineage that he never really got to connect with. Just this whole effort of trying to find this these pieces of himself, and this is thusly reflected in his collecting of these small little precious ephemera, these little bit physical bits of the past. Sort of makes you wonder when you look at all these physical bits of things. What's going to happen to this generation? What happens when the electricity goes out? Maybe at some point, post-internet revolution, we've all turned into ghosts. Maybe we're all just living ghosts right now. Internet is our mirror. A little ghost mirror. I'm just saying though, don't forget the physical evidence. Maybe generate some physical evidence of your own. I've been using pen and paper recently. I got some graphing paper. Um, I've been writing on it. So there's some physical evidence. Checked out some of the comments. Looked like people were feeling this episode. Feeling the camera work in particular. There were some great shots. I just went back and watched again. Shout out to Tyler Turtle. The amazing Tyler Turtle. You can follow Tyler Turtle on Instagram. And he will consistently blow your mind with his clever photographic compositions that he pulls off on his cell phone camera. It's fucking infuriating, man. He's a great DP. I only got a glimpse of what was in Michael Pahone's head. Just a tiny slice. A wonderful soup.